Jotunheim would bring his cure. Lies, I'm sure. Why did Mistletoe break the spell? Vanir magic is powerful, but its rules are slippery and elusive. I'm sure it makes sense if you're a witch. Oh, but it's also bloody tragic. Balder was the greatest gift Odin granted Freya. The one thing she treasured from their marriage. She only hoped to spare him pain and spare herself loss. But such impulses can lead good parents to make terribly stupid decisions. So, why was Tyr helping Odin meet with the Giant Kings? Tyr was hopeful to convince all parties they would prosper best through peace. The Giants were deeply concerned about Hammer, a super weapon in hands they did not trust. But they trusted Tyr. Tyr always believed the best in people, and taking Odin at his word in his desire for peace, he brought the Raven King to Jotunheim. Uh, from there, things unraveled quickly. The Giants anticipated Odin's trickery and exposed his new agenda to spy and steal their secret wisdom. With magic, they expelled Odin from their realm and cursed him never to return. Frustrated, Odin visited his fury upon the Giants of Midgard. Thor unleashed Mjolnir's might upon any giant he could find. None could stand against the tide of slaughter that followed. And at last, it seems, with Tyr's aid, they retreated. The tower disappeared, no giants could be found in Midgard, and no man nor god has set foot in Jotunheim since.
waterfall is even bigger now that the water's gone. Come here. Why did you work for Odin if he's so horrible? You know what? I'll tell him later. if he's so horrible. It's my career! And if you mean to make your career as a counsellor to kings, he can't very well rule out petty maniacs. Available positions are scarce enough. You know what? I'll tell this one later. Where are we then? Oh yes, my first job. My first master was a cool piece of work as well, but I learned through him the enduring power of wit, which served me well with kings and gods alike. Or I can just tell you this story later. and lock in Jotunheim and we'll be on our way. Probably.
get ready. Oh, right. Got it. Let's hope this doesn't cause you to explode or anything. Oh, I haven't considered that. Maybe we should talk about this a bit more. Nah, I'm sure you'll be fine. Ready? Oh, that's unpleasant! Now, boy! A word, please, before we continue. Listen, the last thing you two need up there is a decomposing heat ruin in the moment. Why don't I wait for you here? This is between you and the boy. True. But if someone were to fight... My lady sifts soft, perfect sloshers. You done did it. Sorry. We had to see this. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Ah, fine, damn it. Fine! Watch the head till we return. I can do this. No, no, I can't. Oh. Okay. Ready. fingers I can see the highest peak ahead right over there we did it we did What are you doing? I have nothing more to hide. Can we go now? We're so close. Boy. It's nothing. I just thought I'd hear voices by now. Hello? Anybody here? What is this place? 
They must have all come through here when they left Midgard. What was left of them. Why carve all these faces? What if this is all the giants that got out of Midgard alive? Not really many at all. Odin and Thor, ruining everything for everybody. Where are they now? The giants came back home so they could survive. But I'm not sure they did. Huh. Who's the Guardian? I should feel them, but I don't. This place is dead. What happened to them? Why'd Mom send us here? One question is answered, and two more take its place. of giants. She knew giants? That's us. The first time we met the world serpent. But how? And our fight with Balder. But that just happened. Wait. They knew everything that was going to happen. The dragon in the mountain, the stone mason, all these drawings. This is our story. No. This is your story. But what does it all mean? That I was not the only parent with secrets. You didn't know. She was a giant. I'm a giant. Why didn't she tell us? She sent us here knowing we would find this. Why not just tell us the truth? Her mother would have had good reasons. Balder was never sent to find me. He was tracking her all along, not knowing she was only ashes. If she had a plan for us, I trust it. Whatever it is. Besides, she hasn't been wrong yet. Come on. We're so close to the end now. Yes. Yes, we are. Look, it's Mother's. She was here. She saw every step we took before we took it. Like she was always with us. Watching over us. Leading us home. Let's finish it.
father. No. We do it together. Son. There's nothing for us here. Come. So, I get that mother was a giant, which makes me part giant and part god. And part mortal. Right. I guess there's just one thing I don't understand. My name on the wall. Giants called me... Loki? That's the name your mother wanted for you when you were born. She must have called you that to her people. But why? A question for another day. Let us go home. Did she know it was going to be like this here? Is this what she wanted us to see? Did she want us to tell the people? Or keep it a secret? I... do not know. So what should we do? I trust you to decide that. Oh. Why'd you want to name me Atreus? I know it can't be for a god. <laughs> no. He was a soldier. A Spartan. A great warrior? All Spartans are great warriors. We train from birth. Our lives were discipline, duty, battle, and death. Life was grim, and we greeted it grimly. Mm. But Atreus of Sparta was unlike the rest of us. He wore a smile even in the worst of times. He was happy. He inspired us to hope that though we were machines of war, yet there was humanity in us. Goodness. When the day came for him to lay down his life in battle, his sacrifice saved countless others and turned the tide in our favor. I carried him home on his shield and buried him with all the honors of Spartan custom. His memory was a comfort in dark times. Wow, you actually told a good story. We I mean, missed it.
understand if you want to go home. But I bet there are still some corrupt developers out there that could be set free. Some other help people. Maybe helping people was part of why mom sent us out here, too. I mean, what would Atreus of Sparta do? And what would Loki do? Huh. That's a weird name. I'm glad we went with yours. Am I glad to see you? I believe I've reached my limit for dwarven charm. What happened, Mimir? They took an uncomfortable number of measurements and then proceeded to bicker about the weather. Where do you want us to take you? How about the warm confines of anywhere bloody else? Before we return to Midgard, I should warn you. The more time has passed than you likely realize. The snowfall that began when you slew Baldur has become something else. The stuff of omens. Omens? For the coming of winter? Not just any winter, but a great winter to span three summers. And when it's done, Ragnarok begins. Ragnarok? From snow? Ah, snow. Lots more snow. And then the end of the bloody world. In that approximate order. Another prophecy. No, brother. Prophecy doesn't expect this for a hundred more winters at least. You've changed something. Prophecy didn't count on you. I can feel it in my scrot. This is the big one. Stop saying that. Oh, you're making me very nervous. It was bound to snow sooner or later. That ain't just snow and you know it. It's the end times. How dare you make me the voice of peace? Guys? Just discussing the weather. A bit of a cold snap lately. What he means is, Fimble winter's upon us, boys. The winner to end all winners. I can feel it in my scrot. Yeah. We... we heard. So, if you're heading home, try to keep moving, and also, to not die. Or if you're not heading home, same advice. Now you're talking. Suit yourself.
I think we're better off letting the snake rest, brother. Yeah, you're probably right. Thank you! Where were we then? Oh yes, my first job. I couldn't have been much older than you when I started. A fairy king's errand boy and unofficial jester. By night, my mates and I had the run of the forest. Good fellows, they called us. Never spikes to the last. We'd get up to all manner of mischief, making fools of the local mortals. But as long as our lord was kept amused, we were spared the consequences. Oh. Then one day he was not amused. And I saw fit to move on. Thankfully, the ages and rules I've traveled since then have turned me from that merry wanderer into the paragon of virtue you see before you today. God of Thunder! Ah, very smart. Your challenges mean nothing to the gods, spirit. Do not mock me. Unlikely. Is there something we can do? For a reward, of course. If you bring the... Why do you hate Thor so much? My father passed. My father built the statue to watch over his grave. Imagine our surprise when the God of Thunder himself came to offer condolences.
father's grave lies on an island to the east. Do not mistake my mother's statue of Thor with that monstrous island. <laughs> The one whose mom was killed by Thor? What about him? Would his story be a reminder? The lives of men mean nothing to the gods. I know, father. You know. But do you listen? Yes. Good. Come here. How'd you come to be in these lands? Lad, there comes a time in every man's life when he changes his name and heads north to make a new start. If you live long enough to do this many times over, you might end up as far north as this place. By the time I arrived, I already knew Odin by his reputation, and so I set... ...to demonstrate my worth by coming to him with something I knew he'd value. A mystic well of knowledge. But I can just tell you the story later.
now they almost had us. Boy, over here. Yes, sir. Vader, southern outposts of the Dwarven King. Dwarven King? Have you ever heard of a Dwarven King? No. I'd heard rumors of a powerful dwarf ruling over some poor sods not far from here. Not that you asked me. What happened to these people? Follow the clues. Okay. Well, scorch marks. They're all grouped together. So maybe they were hiding from some kind of fire bather. But they died anyways. Read it. Yes, sir. Veda Dowther. It means hunting death. Great. Here, boy. Sir. Curse the Dwarf King. Bane of mankind. Sounds like he wasn't a very good king. I wonder why they hated him so much. They are dead now. Does it matter? No. I'm just curious. Curiosity is dangerous, boy. Stay focused. Wow. How do you even begin to build statues this big? Dwarves are resourceful creatures. Annoying, but resourceful. I guess they must have been pretty important dwarves. Now I believe I was just acquainting Odin with my mystic well. Well, here it is. It's gotta have a weak point. Somewhere. <laughs>
planning on doing this himself. Do not fall this easily, boy. I know, I know. I was just joking. Nor are they a joking matter. Sorry. Father, why do the gods cause so much trouble for mortals? Because that is their nature. But with all that power, you would think at least some of them would try to make life better for people. And yet, the gods continue to spread misery. This is life, boy. Hmm. Well, at least we're doing some good, right? <laughs> that sounds like a dragon.
Right fly, incoming! Chained up too? Father, over there. Watch out for the dragon breath. I am aware of it, boy. Breathing, lad. Concern us. Guard your emotions, boy. Your enemies will not hesitate to use them against you. The apple doesn't fall far. Hey, that could be valuable.
Trigger poison. Not a fan. Why in it? on the right side fell off. They must be around here somewhere.
Atreus, follow me. faith in their king? Even after he got so many of them killed? It is a command to have faith despite his failures. Impressive back in the rules. Look here. Yes, sir. He made his subjects grab another monsters for him? Some king, huh? The 
Father, you may want to see this. Looks like that lever over there will free him. He will attack. I know, but it feels wrong to keep something caged like this. Hmm. Your emotions again, boy. You can't hear their thoughts. I can't. Ignore them, and ready yourself. Okay. Cage. Your skill is improving. You fought well, Atreus. Thank you, Father. yourself.
So, what happened to all the people who lived here? Follow the clues, boy. Right, right. Follow the clues. Okay, so there was an evil dwarf king, and he made all these people hunt monsters. The people put them in cages, and then... And then I don't know. Hmm. Well, I'm missing a clue. Back inside the castle? No. There is nothing more for us inside. But stay alert for Chain Dragons, boy. Perhaps you'll uncover more about this Dwarf King. the unity stone didn't it? I wanted to fly again yes that's a terrible pity okay tell me again how Odin knew we were going to Jotunheim before we did Odin is extremely clever you see nearly as clever as he thinks he is and he's a collector of prophecies if it's about the future he adds it to his collection helps him style himself as all-seeing and all-knowing but of course the idea is control Control of the future, control of his fate. He'd control every realm of every land in every world if he could. Every potential pocket of resistance, he seeks to eliminate. Even if you've never posed a threat before, he may think one day you might. So you see, it's not important how he knew before you did. It's important that he was right. We're finally home. Feels like a lifetime ago. Bit drafty, maybe. It's a right improvement over having tree bark in your tadger. Time to rest. I'm gonna sleep through winter. Okay, this'll do. Sleep. Way ahead of you.
Atreus, are you ready? Yeah, but I had the weirdest dream. Fimble Winter was ending, and Thor came for us, here at the house. It was only a dream. But it felt different. It felt real. It felt like the future. Then we will worry about it tomorrow. Today, there are still things we can do. Come.